I'm, I'm actually in London, England, uh, doing the Mebo Awards. So crazy. Uh, Amy Winehouse, rest in peace, she was there. Uh, I think Shaggy was hosting. T Pain performing, you know what I'm saying? Craziest thing in the world, man. So I'm at the club before, you know, everybody's all juiced up or geeked up or drunk, whatever you want to call it. I'm down there, you know, in the VIP, like really slick dolo by myself, me management, a few people. I just was, I just was like ready to get out. You know, we that done the award show. I'm sitting here speaking with this young lady, beautiful young lady. She walks up, she's like, hi, I'm like, hi. So I'm sitting here having a drink. I'm like, you want something to drink? She's like, sure. I give her something to drink. As I give her something to drink, T Pain walks in. Pain. Jock. Pain walk up. Hey, how you doing? So as we're sitting there talking, me Pain, the young lady, just having, you know, laughs, you know, just just shooting the shit. Next thing you know, this big ass dude, he like six five. <laughs> Shoulders this wide. This dude was big as fuck. This dude was big as shit. I couldn't believe it, but I was too drunk to give a shit. And I, I so yeah. Arms, I mean, like, dude was like a robot. I'm like, I seen him walking over this fucking. No way this dude just worked out and, like, this was, like, the results. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, not one way that this dude just, like, work out and, and was like, okay, cool. This is. This is how I look now. No, no, sir. Not even gonna fucking, hell no. Nah. Give me to the end of the story and I'll read off y'all joints. I don't know if you call it a goblet, big ass glass of wine. And he's just swooshing it around and smelling it. But I'm just like, man, that's a big ass dude. Who the fuck is this? So he walks up and it's pain. We're not trying to holler at the girl. No, we just talk to the girl. He grabs the girl by her arm and without even trying, just walks in the opposite direction of us. He didn't pull it to him, he just grabbed it and walked away. Yeah. And I mean, it just, he just drug out the way holding his wine. So T-Pain said, uh, uh, excuse me? I was like, hey, yeah, nah, don't worry about it. Look, I think, I think she with him, just don't even trip. I'm like, trust me, I- No, I, bitch! I beat you up. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no hope, ain't no hope. You ain't really gonna ever hear about me back and I ain't no hope. But I was just like, uh, yeah, maybe just let it go. So Pam was like, oh, who does he think he is? I was like, I, I think he, whoever he believes he is, he's confident in it. Let him just have that. Like, yeah. So Payne is like, oh, he goes in his pocket. Do you know how much money this is? So I was like, nah, Payne. There was a couple steps before that. It became a thing. There was like one step before that. Maybe. <sighs> what happened before? Please, something happened before that. It didn't go straight to me pulling out money. Maybe it was. I was drunk. I don't care. I, it, it, so, it's a long time ago. I was <laughs> I was drunk, and um, that may have happened. The money thing did happen, but something before that. Besides him just walking off with it, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't get mad. And oh no, that's not what happened. That is what happened, but he didn't. So what Jock didn't hear in between that. So we got the sense that everybody hated us in there because we was doing too much, and I kind of already felt that. And for some reason, Londoners at that time thought Americans were just like the dirtiest people. I don't know what that is. Well, I got to do. If you look at the South, I, you know, if all y'all got to go on is TV, then maybe. I understand that. So when the dude took the girl, when he turned around, because I guess Jock didn't hear a bit, but dude turned around and when he started walking away, he said, fucking Americans. And I was like, well, <laughs> yeah, not on my watch. <laughs> that ain't happening. Uh, it was actually Grey Goose. It was actually Grey Goose. We didn't, they, we didn't have Patron there. Um, 
but it was a Magnum Patron. It took two people to pour our bottle of 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 uh, uh, Grey Goose that we had. So it was, uh, yeah. So when dude walked away with the Grey, it was like fucking Americans, and we were just well, I was just like, no, not gonna let him do that. You got to live here. I I, I got to leave. I got to I got to make sure you know not to say that before I leave. <laughs> So, I'm just, excuse me. So, yeah. So, Jock didn't hear the fucking Americans part. And this is how this turned into like a club wide brawl. This turned into literally America versus, or this turned into just, yeah, this turned into to America versus the UK. It, it, it wasn't even about the girl shit anymore after like, after this part he's about to say, it wasn't even about the girl anymore. It was about the whole fucking how he walked off and was like fucking Americans, like like your girl shouldn't like mingle with Americans or some shit. Like, uh, don't leave your girl by herself. And apparently she was intrigued, was having a fucking conversation for a long time. You piece of shit. So uh, you know, not I'm just him. Just his big strong ass. You won, bro. You stronger than everybody in here. Don't fucking let us have a conversation, my nigga. What what, 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 your girl gonna leave with us? No, she's scared of getting beat up. Probably. It's okay. You won, my nigga. I we, we just wanted we, talking to your girl. I, it probably ain't even your girl. She probably you probably don't even know her. You probably just taking her because you know you're strong enough to just make her keep going, and it's gonna look like she with you. And then we can hit you with kidnapping charges. But let's let's. But I digress. I don't think this is the way, bro. Payne looks over there at the dude and says, man, I will buy her. And I didn't say that. I didn't say that. That's, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. There's no way I'd say that. Um, I had spent enough money that night. I did not plan on buying a person. I was okay with not buying a person. I, I'm totally fine with that. I, 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 I don't do that. I don't have to do that. I didn't say that. That's why I had to be here. That's why I didn't want to leave this running while I was gone. Because I knew he was going to say some crazy shit. I understand that sometimes you got to make the story a little funnier. This one didn't land well. This one, this this joke did not land well. I didn't say that. That's not even in my vocabulary. I didn't do that. Another you. Okay? I might have said the second part. Hold on. <laughs> Man, I will buy her. And another you. No, I didn't say that about the guy. The guy was big. I, I, I didn't have enough money to make another one of his big ass. I didn't have that. Uh, I didn't have I didn't have money at the time to make a fucking six million dollar man because obviously this dude was made out of a car and I couldn't. I, I just couldn't afford it. It just wasn't. It wasn't in the books. That uh, you can tell because uh, all the inflictions and shit that he was he was actually doing my voice earlier, but now that he's saying these things. It's not my voice anymore. He's just making this part up. This is this is. Come on, Jock, help me out now. Don't 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 get me canceled. All right. Sis. So I was like, Nah, Payne. I don't think this is the way, bro. Payne looks over there to do to say, Man, I will buy her. I didn't say that. And yeah. another you. That's, 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 okay. No. You know who I am? I'm T Pain. I was like, Okay. Obviously, I don't say that. Obviously, I don't say that. You know who I am? I'm T Pain. I. That's just that's two sentences that don't even go together. If I say, Do you know who I am? I leave it, you know. I leave it because obviously you should know. So I'm not gonna sit here and explain it to you. And if I say I'm T Pain, that's because it's like an older white couple or something trying to figure out why people are taking pictures of me. I never say that out loud unless actually somebody asks for an explanation. Are those fucking Nikes back there? Is this made out of shoes? I'm so sorry. That was that I, that was not my intention. But are these shits made out of shoes? Have y'all been seeing this shit the whole time and not saying nothing? Are these shits made out of Jordans? Oh yeah. Oh my god, those are made out of Jordans. I'm sorry. Did y'all not see? Was I the only one that didn't see that until just now? I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. D d d okay, let's let's keep going. Keep in mind that shit behind him is made out of shoes. God damn, that's a lot of destroyed shoes. Okay. Ah, man, yes. It's made of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to deflect. Full that circle. Was, we're not even halfway. With we're the not video. even halfway through the fucking video. I I can't I can't stop it enough. But here we go. Are you? 
that, that okay. but but for sure I didn't say any of that stuff. I may have said a version of that, but I didn't say that about buying the girl or the guy. I don't even want to buy the guy. I'm fine. Okay. You know what I'm T Pain. I was like, nah, man, yeah. Shh, shh. So he turns his back like he don't know how I am. So as he's sitting there, I'm just like, yeah, let's just let it go. I'm thinking to myself, cool, he gonna let it die down. <laughs> Next thing you know, his boy Tay walk in. Hey. Okay. So here's the part that he missed. I don't think he was looking. Um I threw the money at the guy. <laughs> so I don't think he was looking. I, I I did have my money out, and because he just he just he just, so I had just got paid for the show that we did there, and I got it in cash. So, um, and I got it in their money too, which is way worse. So he um, the guy was the guy walked off saying "fucking Americans" like we were some dirty pieces of shit or something. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is what. Do 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 fucking Americans have shit like this? This is crazy. Then he turned his back on me, which is you know, don't do that because I know you can't turn around and aim and punch at the same time. So I got time to run if you decide to do so. Uh, when he turned around, bam, hit him in the back with the money. Didn't give a shit. I I I literally spent all my money that all the money I had on me at that night. I I I threw it at his back. I don't know where it is now. That shit that got spent on bangers and mash fucking years ago. I have no idea where it is. It's gone. My manager was trying to stop me from doing all that shit, and it was unsuccessful. So here we go. You picked it up, Tango? Thanks. I appreciate it. Or, as you would say, thanks. Woo! I'm from fucking London, bro. Bro, 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 bro. What's going on? So Tay walk up like he finna come get some straightening and shit. Tay walk up like, bro, what's going on? It look like it's some, it's some shit over here. Because the dude paying... Tay smaller than me, by the way. Not a good idea. He's screaming. He's screaming. What's going on? What, 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 what's happening? What's it started getting loud, so the dude kind of, you know, let everybody know that it was going to be some shit. Man, all of a sudden, I look up, bro, and as Tay is talking, I see dude pour his wine out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. This is I'm right. taking my necklace off. You remember the big H? He did, remember Young Jock had that big ass H? That hustler, big ass H, he was wearing that in the club, and he had to take that off. And he, his manager had a briefcase that he kept it in, so he had to put it in a briefcase. Don't worry about it. I take the big H off. <laughs> I see this this tall ass dude, six six, come way from behind his head, like even a slam dunk. This goddamn goblet into the top of Tay's head. Bow, hit him in the head. Blood go everywhere. <laughs> Down there, look like he poured his wine on him with so much blood. <laughs> like, oh shit. Run out the club, man. We get out the club, get into a fight. I had just bought a pair of fifteen thousand dollar earrings. It's crazy. We out there, I'm watching my security. I'm like, how did this happen? We fighting the dude, right? Their security grabbed me up, choked me so tight it popped the backs on my earrings. <laughs> they gone. I, I damn near passed out. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm like, hey, man, we gotta get out of here. So after we done beat the dude up, they actually my my security Neil. Shouts out to Neil. Neil fucking almost murdered that dude when i when i when i fucking got my wits about me and started looking around and make sure all my people was good the big dude was sitting down on the ground with his back up against a car and um and uh jock security neil was kneeing this dude in the face up against the fucking car like oh. fucking i'm talking about Beyond MMA, you know them, them bare knuckle fights y'all be having over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about lost it, lost it. The dude had the dude may have died. I, I, I'm not sure what happened to the guy, but I'm sure if he had enough creatine in him, he should be fine though. Right. He knocked the security out. I'm like, oh shit, knocked the dude out. I'm like, oh shit, he knocked him out. So we end up about to have to brawl with all his boys because they do security at the club. And they Bro. We was fighting a bunch of people. And then the fight kind of calmed down. And then I heard my homeboy Jay Lyric say, Oh, shit! Bro, we looked at the club. 
It was so many dudes about the same size as the original guy pouring out that fucking club. Bro, they was coming out the club. All They all had on black shirts and blue jeans and black shoes, like boots and shit. They all were security at the club, but they all came out at the same time. The shit looked like when Agent Smith started duping himself on the fucking Matrix. They was, bro, they, they couldn't get past each other. They was like, like squeezing out of the fucking door, my nigga. <laughs> I couldn't, like, you can't make this shit up. It looked like somebody had put a fucking, bro, it looked like somebody had put a goddamn strongman particle emitter right in the doorway of the motherfucking other club. <laughs> like this shit was they were just yeah, <laughs> it was darting towards us because they not gonna let the Americans come through and fuck up the club night. We did. I'm sorry. It's just, they all big as fuck like him. So we like, oh shit, we gotta get the fuck on. Let's go on and get on down the hill. We get down the hill like call a cab, call a cab. It was like, is everybody here? Everybody here, everybody here. So T Pain don't realize I'm right there next to him. He's like, yo, where is Chuck? I can't do this without Chuck. I'm like Hey, I didn't say the second part of that. I didn't say where's Jock. I, I could, I could, you know, I could probably do it without Jock. Part two coming soon. Right. Here. He's like, no fucking way. He's a good guy. He should have got choked out like that, but he don't know I'm good. I'm like, no, it's cool, man. Let's just go on and go. He probably like, no, nah, fuck that. I want to go back and fight <laughs> for my rights. I, didn't I said, that. pain. I'm right here. <laughs> He like, no, nah, we gotta go back. So we get right here, we turn the corner, I'm like, fuck, I get we gotta fight. I ain't no hoe, we gotta fight. We were looking up the street, as we looking up the street, shit look like some shit from a movie. It's like a like a, a alleyway. And you're looking at the top of the street and the lights from whatever cars that are like parked or whatever, it's like you can see the haze, the, the gas and smoke coming off the ground. And all of a sudden you see all these big ass dudes come around the corner, it's just arms and shoulders that and shit chest was and shit. I got scared and I'm looking at them, I'm like, I'm looking at T Pain, I'm like, boy, you ain't got no muscles. Uh I'm looking at DJ Lil Boy, I'm like, boy, you ain't got no muscles. I'm like, Tay, you about the only one that got some muscles, but you leaking. You the one that got your head bust. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I don't think it's gonna work. T Pain is walking up the street. He he trying to get in front of us, like he leading the pack and shit. We walking up, that they was, walking down. Was, it's like six of them fucking machines walking towards us. I'm like, <laughs> hey man, I just I'm like, God. I don't know how this gonna end, but I ain't trying to get killed over here in London. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to be in a hospital. I don't want no problems. T Pain gets in front of everybody and says, Hey, you can't take my life. I came to give it. The dudes that was ready to fight, they was like, What? We was like, What? So Pain is in there like, And everybody's sitting there like, what the fuck is you talking about? We, you can't give your life? What are you talking about? So they was done with the fight. We was done with the fight. And it was just like we shook on the shit. It was like the fight was over with. And T-Pain was like, he's still sitting there. He's like, like he want to fight. And I'm like, bro, it's over. Like, you did it. Whatever this, whatever God told you to say right now was the perfect time for this shit. Because we said, I came to give it. They was mad and shit. When they heard him, they was like, what? <laughs> So yeah, that was my most crazy moment. I thought I was gonna die in London. I did. I really did. <laughs> what makes this story even more crazy? Y'all remember when T Pain was wearing the top hat, right? So this this trip actually inspired this whole run. For yeah, the this was the this was actually the first time I wore a top hat, and I was wearing a top hat in that club that night. That like I I I wore a top hat that night because it was London. I was like, you supposed to you got to wear a top hat in the UK. It's weird if you, you come over here and not get a fucking top hat. And then I wore it back to the States and everybody was like, this shit kind of fits you. And then I started, started fucking wearing top hats from this. Him. Because <laughs> as he was standing there in the middle. He paint cast confusion. It's super effective. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. He felt like he had tamed lions and shit. Like he was the ringleader. So he kind of said it, but we didn't really. He was like, yeah, yeah, you know. I run this, I run things, you know what I'm saying? I'm the ringleader. So we end up going through the airport. This is so crazy. We end up going through the airport, right? We get we walk through the airport and homie sees these top hats. So he buys all of us these fucking top hats, yeah, right? Sure. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Tay Head was bust from his shit was just leaking still. Like he didn't want to go get stitches. He's like, no, nah, it'll stop. He's like, bro, your shit is still leaking hours later. Something might be wrong, you know? You might want to get that shit checked out. So when he put his hat on, he fucked his hat up. So that was over with. 
I had my top hat. I was like, you know, I don't really have no reason to wear a top hat, but my boy bought it for me. I fucked around and left it on the plane by mistake. How about that? So, Payne, if you ever wonder what happened to that hat, I left that shit on the plane by mistake, bro. Terrible for I know you. I told you somebody took it, but I left it on the plane by mistake. Yeah. Anyway, T Pain was the only person left with the top hat. He wore the hat, and that's where that whole run of T Pain and the top hat came from. That part is true. That is a true part of that. Absolutely. <laughs>